Hello, it is me and I'm here in DJ Casey's home studio. He has many great things, including this gem of a singer. She is starring on the brand new album, Viva La Reva. So Jenny, tell us a little about yourself. Well, um, I really like to sing. That's good, because you are a singer, and if you didn't like it, it would be like being forced to do something, like apartheid, like the slaves in Africa. Yes? So you're telling me that you think what you did was like being a slave in Africa? No, no, not at all. I... Ah, I get what you are saying. So what would you relate it to more? The Native Americans when Christopher Columbus came to America? Uh, no. No, I would relate it to, um... Um... I have some more delicious questions to ask Jenny today. It is I. So Jenny, I suppose you have a very long-standing relationship with DJ KC. Tell me a bit about it. Uh, well, we, we've been dating since like... <gasps> so you're dating? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Does it lead to studio complications? No, it actually makes it better. Ah, oh, see? See, Lauren? Thank you, that means so much. I'm proud of you for starring with DJ KC. I've worked with him before behind the decks. He's a very demanding person. Did you find this an issue in the studio? Ah, uh, mm, no, not too much. No. So he never hit you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Alright, so when we first started making the song, I asked Kevin what he thought of when he heard this song. And he said he thought of um, a group of children and they were holding hands. What age were the children? I would say from ranging from five to eight. Okay. Yes, and they were all holding hands and spinning in a circle to rave music. And um, What kind of rave music? Trance, hardcore, hard tech, sound bass, jump style, hard house? I would say hardcore. Okay. Yes. And, um, and then, meanwhile, in the background, there was a, a bear, and he was sinking. How old was the bear? What age range? Twelve. Okay. And he was sinking in an ice pond, and his brother bear was trying... So what age range was the brother moose in? Which one? The older brother that saw his brother sinking. The brother that saw the brother sinking. The brother that was sinking, looking up to the brother. Sixteen. So he was old enough to drive. Yes, I suppose Did so. Did he have his license? No. No. No, he didn't. Had he completed segment two? <laughs> um, yes. So what happened next in the story? Then, uh, the moose was, the older moose was trying to save his brother from the water. Did he use any equipment that lifeguards would use? <laughs> no, I think he just used his hooves and his antlers. But you can't grapple with hooves. <laughs> well... That is where the kind of the bitter sweetness comes into the song. Ah, what was so sweet? Well, the sweetness was the children raving. And in the words that I thought of, even though we die, we go on. So even though one bear might, or moose might be dying, mm -hmm. the children go on and the dance goes on. What was the bitter part of the story, you would say? That the moose was probably doomed to sink, but I guess... I'm not really sure what happens to him. So it's a bit bitter, but a bit sweet. Yes. Like a pretzel. I understand where you're coming from, and I think our viewers at home also know now, when they listen to the song, there will be a deeper connection. That is a beautiful story, almost as beautiful as the story of the sinking bears. Mies.